Hey folks, Revolutionary Brewer here with our second volume in uh, Homebrew Wednesdays. And uh, what we're going to use the Wednesday volumes for is to do something a little different from my uh, standard homebrew kit review. Today we got a homebrew challenge going on. Battle of a couple maritime brewers, myself and uh, Drunk Canuck uh, 73. Today we're going to be looking at the... Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. The homebrew kit is the Royals or Morgan's Royal Oak Amber Ale. If you want to see how I brewed mine, it's just a standard way. Um, I'll put a link to it down below there. It's just my standard um, kit: a pound and a half of malt extract, a pound and a half of high malt glucose, topped up to 20 liters. And we, tonight the challenger is going to be right here. And it's going to be from Drunk Canuck 73. And uh, he made the same same kit, Morgan's Royal Oak Amber Ale, but he added 500 grams of light dry malt extract, 1,000 uh, grams of Mutton's Beer Kit Enhancer, and 400 grams of Mutton's Brewer Syrup. He also added in some uh, fresh grains, and he carbonated with um, a combination of dextrose and also uh, dry malt extract. So we'll see if that makes much of a difference, but uh, let's get right down to her. Uh, first, we're going to go with uh, Drunk Canuck's version. He says it's a red ale. That's what he considers it, so we'll see how it looks. This is actually supposed to be about 6.5% uh, uh, per volume alcohol. And we'll pour it in my brand new pint glass from the Value Village. It's actually not a pint glass, it's just more of a standard uh, restaurant size 14 ouncer. So here we go, it's uh, looking good, it does, got a little bit of a uh, nice amber copper color to it. Oh look at that, that's a nice beer. Look at that. Drunk Canuck special right here. Look at that, that's a nice looking, nice looking ale, very clear. Can't really, yeah you can see through it, nice clear, beautiful head. I'm going to open mine, though, before um, I take a taste of that one. Here's mine. It's in a smaller bottle. It's been sitting in the fridge for a long time. And uh, we'll give this one a pour and see what happens here. This is about a year old. It's been a while since I brewed this one. I think his got a little bit more color to it. I think. Let's compare. Yeah, his has just a slight bit more color to it. Look at that. Yeah. And his head, his head's a little bit better than mine. Mine's a little bit, a uh, little bit more carbonated, but uh, the head isn't quite as good. But let's, let's, let's take a taste. I'll try mine first. It's not bad. Uh, with age, like it aged a little bit better. When I first tried, I wasn't totally impressed, but uh, it aged out a little bit, and uh, it's, you know, it's a pretty smooth, it's a pretty basic beer, but it's refreshing. It's a nice refreshing beer. Now let's see Drunk Knuck. We'll see if he's up to the standard here. Um, pretty sure he is. He seems to know what he's doing. Let's give her a little smell. Smells like beer. Let's see. Oh, wow. His is way hoppier than mine. Let me see if he added some hops in here. His is way more flavorable than mine. Mine is a very light, a very mild. Oh, this thing knocked the socks off here. Did he add any hops in here? Uh, no, he added some fresh grains, but it doesn't say he added any hops. Let me take another taste of this. For some reason, it tastes hoppier than mine. It may be the grains I'm picking up. It, 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 let me go back to mine. I don't, I'm confused here now. 
Yeah, mine's a little bit lighter. It seems for some reason I let me see how much water he used. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to check with him, see if he added some hops into that, because he used 21 liters of water. You could definitely pick up. His is a much more flavorable beer than mine. He added, though, he added, um, like I said, he added a bunch of specialty grains into it. And it's a nice looking beer. It's a nice tasting beer. But uh, you could definitely tell this is 6.5%. 6. It's uh, you could re it's full, full flavored. Let me take a little taste here. Yeah, you could really, you could, mine's a lot, this one probably came out about four and a half percent, so. But yeah, you could really taste the difference. Drug Canuck, man, I'm going to give this beer a solid three and a half out of five. It's, uh, to me, I like a little, I don't like the heavy alcohol beers. I like them around five percent. Um, even the IPAs are a little heavy for me. But this is a good quality beer. It's nice and flavorful, and I appreciate that. I'm going to enjoy the rest of that off camera. Um, so in this showdown, I'm going to look at this. They're pretty close. His is a little bit darker, definitely a little bit darker. But I'm going to call it a draw. <laughs> I'm going to call it a draw. Nothing definitive here, but uh, both good solid beers in their own way. So uh, coming up next, we got something a little different. I think we're going to be, uh, I think we got a Dutch lager coming up next. And a real treat, we got a new uh, Cooper's kit in town. It's right now bottled, and we're going to try that a little bit further on when the weather gets a little bit warmer. What else? A Cerveza, great summertime beer. Anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in uh, once again, and we'll see you next time. Keep on brewing. Cheers, y'all.